Leader is one of the necessary evils in trucking. Especially when you're a new driver, you've got to get your year of experience in somewhere. Just make sure you count your paycheck. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You wanted to be in the game, right? Now you're in the game. Rosie Hex, better known as the Curvy Trucker. Back with her Nightmare Trucker series. This time, she's talking about Snyder. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Going for the road, pumpkin. Schneider myth for you. So the original owner wanted his trucks to stand out, but he could only afford the orange paint. So he went out, painted all of his trucks orange, and the colors just stayed around. The only doing what they could afford basically sums up Schneider. Deeply underpay all their drivers. Y'all, $900 a week? When you're working 70 hours a week? I don't think so. 21 for an owner op y'all realize they have to pay for fuel right that ain't shit y'all they've been sued several times over their driver pay this is a pretty common thread throughout all big companies that a dispatch department will lie like a dog to you to get something done you are just a number guys they really don't care there's a couple thousand more of you to take your place Schneider is one of the necessary evils in trucking. Especially when you're a new driver, you gotta get your year of experience in somewhere. Just make sure you count your paychecks. So that is all that they can afford was the color orange. That's why the orange company is known as Snyder, according to Rosie Hicks here. She says that all the other colors was too high. <laughs> and orange was the only one that came through <laughs> yes yes owner ops do probably have to pay for their own fuel but i probably think that owner ops like owner ops and not lease ops they probably get paid a little bit more when they lease on to the company known as snyder and as far as 900 dollars, i mean that's the going rate for new drivers right I mean, if you don't have, you know, the experience and you coming fresh off the boat out of trucking school, then yeah, nine hundred dollars is probably is going to be the top rate that you're going to get until you actually get your experience. Right. Well, that goes for just about all major trucking companies. I, I do believe majority of them has got sued for you know driver pay and stuff like that and as far as the dispatch department well same thing goes that's what all trucking companies that dispatchers try to lie to get you to do something done hey can you do me a favor and and take this load up to such and such and then on the way back i promise i promise cross my fingers and hope to die that i can get you back out of the northeast heading back down south if you do me this favor but this is what all trucking companies though not just with snyder now you know i had to agree with you with that but not just snyder you know you got swift you got jb hunt you got night you got all these mega carriers that are willing and able to help new drivers out you know it's all about getting your experience in the beginning i mean at least that's what i would tend to think it's all about getting your experience um as far as getting money i understand you know especially if you're coming in you know with financial situations you know that might just be a little bit more challenging while you're out here trying to get your experience too but still i mean 900 dollars is not bad for a new driver considering now if you're a veteran driver you know got a couple of years then yeah i can understand 900 dollars is gonna be like nah we're we, we not doing that for 70 weeks but snyder as a nightmare company guys what do you think uh, do you agree with her assessment on Snyder? And if you guys drive or driven for Snyder, let me hear your thoughts on it.